Hey guys, it's Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be reviewing Batman and Robin issue number 35. So, yeah, guys, let's get into this review. So, yeah, um, so this issue opens up with the Bat family. Basically, they, they want to, oh, yeah, I'm gonna give you the first page. Um, you know, I mean, basically, it opens first up, it opens with Batman, and he is an apocalypse. A apocalypse, yeah, and um, he's destroying parademons. He has his hell, hell suit, I think it's called. He has his hell suit, and he's just destroying them. You know, he's parademons left and right are being thrown, and he's destroying them. And then we go back to the Bat family. Um, you know, they are they came back last issue. We saw that Batman said he didn't need them, but they came back. Um, you know, they really care for Bruce and they want to go help him because you know Damien is a big was a big part of their life as well so Alfred says you know what I'm gonna help you but there really is there really is an, another mother mother box that can you know take you uh guys and you know but I think I have an idea so you know they decide that the only mother box that they can take is in the hands of cyborg so they basically uh it's pretty funny um remember in like one issue of the Justice League we found out that I'm going to kind of take you to a page. I'm going to take you to that page. And one issue of the Justice League, um, we found out that, um, you know, Batman had, had con con contingency plans for all the members of the Justice League. So, um, in this issue, you know, we see that Alfred pulls out the contingency plan for Cyborg and they basically use it against him. They kind of paralyze Cyborg for a moment. They use his mother box and they all transport to Apocalypse. Um, but what I really thought was fitting, I'm gonna tell you guys in the verdict, never mind, I, you know, I just, um, you know, it's better if I tell you the verdict. So yeah, guys, um, so they decide to go, they open the mother box, they go to Apocalypse, and Cyber wakes up just in time. He chases them, and he goes to Apocalypse as well, and he takes, uh, Tit Titus, Titan, I think that's the same Titan, with him, because he was chewing his leg, so I thought that was really funny, um, but yeah, you know, we see that while this all of this is happening, you know, the bad girl, uh, Red Hood, and Tim Drake, they all get transported to Apocalypse, so does Cyborg, like I said. But while all of this is happening, we see, um, you know, I think uh, Godfrey, I think that's him, he, um, he basically launches something to a moon and he destroys it. So I don't know if it was Damien's body or anything. I think it's over here, guys. I'm going to cover it out. I'm not sure who it was. Yeah, but he's, he he sent something. He destroys it. Um, he destroys the moon and says, "Next chaos as Robin rises." So yeah, guys. Um, now let's go to the Beredict. Honestly, I thought this was a good issue. I thought it was a big improvement from um, you know what we've been getting. Not the Robin rises storyline, but as in like that whole Two Face thing storyline. I thought that was enjoyable for me. But, you know, I think Batman and Robin has been really getting great. Um, I talked to Peter J. Tomasi about this, and he absolutely agrees with me that, you know, um, that, he, I mean, he doesn't want to focus too much on the Batman family. He really wants to focus on Batman and Robin. And, you know, I asked him who is going to be the new Robin, and he said, I guess you got to wait until December. So, um, we're going to see. You know, many things, it's hinting that it's going to be Damien, but... It could all just go like in a different way, in a different direction. So you know, if it isn't Damien, who might it be? So you know, we all think it, Damien's gonna come back, but it's all hinting at a different direction, and we're gonna see. You know, who is this new Robin that we're gonna get? So yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, and let's talk now about this issue. This issue was, in my opinion, really good. Um, Patrick Gleason's art is kind of different. Um, you know, he draws people differently, like. Facial expressions. I mean, I'm, I'm not finding a really good facial expression here. Um, I think here he draws them in a different way. Like bad girl here, he, he you know he did, does big eyes, but I think um, it fits for this book. Honestly, you know I gotten used to it because I've been reading this book for a while now, and I, I've I've been getting used to that. Um, you know Patrick Leeson's art. So the art to me was uh, was good. You know I'm not gonna say it's great art. It's not my favorite type of art, but I think it fits. You know the book well. It's not some art I hate, so it's okay. Uh, but you know the writing. That's why I look. If I can go past the art, it's the writing. I thought the issue was great. Honestly, my favorite part was when you know the um, 
Alfred gave, you know, he modified uh, suits. So, you know, it goes with Apocalypse and he gave all of them a Robin suits. And now all of them are dressed with the Robin symbol. And I thought that was really great. Even though Barbara was never a Robin, um, you know, Red Hood and Tim Drake were Robins. So it's really fitting for them. And Barbara, to see her in the Robin suit was also great as well. I thought it was really deep. And what I liked in this issue more was, um, you know, the, the Bat Family part. Instead of the whole little apocalypse thing. Um, you know, I like Tim Drake, Red Hood, and Barbara. I like their story more than, you know, Batman, um, Revenge stuff. So, I, you know, they're going to meet, eventually meet. But I'm liking the, the Barbara and Dick. I mean, the Barbara and the um, Red Hood and the Tim Drake thing. So, yeah, that's, to me, in my opinion, it was a better story. But, you know, overall, the book, I thought it was good. You know, even though, like I said, I can't give a perfect score because the whole apocalypse thing... I'm not really a huge uh, Gods fan, so, you know, um, Darkseid being so involved in many storylines kind of gets me away from them. But, you know, I could totally pass this because we're going to get a Robin by December. So, you know, uh, anyways, it's still a good storyline. I gave this issue an 8.5 out of 10. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And also, um, you know, enter the contest that's in the description box below, guys. So, once again, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.